Okay, uh, this is just a little tutorial on how to make a YouTube background. I'm sort of going to do a lot of sort of what A1 Chris Ryan did. Okay, what I'm going to do this time is do the same as him. I'm going to use the screen grab feature. You're just going to save, complete page frame. This whole thing is going to pop up. And go do the same thing. Gonna do almost our channel. Whoop. Okay. I pretty much already saved it, but whatever. Okay. Once you've done that, and I'll probably make a template after this, but once you've done that, just bring it up in Photoshop, which I'm using CS3, so whatever you want to use. It'd probably use the same thing. Okay. What you're going to first want to do. Let me restart all of this. I didn't even mean to do all this. Is you're gonna start off at normal background. You're gonna pull from where the very top left of the chat box is all the way down to the bottom. And you're just gonna line that up. Just gonna line that up right there. Okay. Then just gonna do you're gonna layer via copy. Close that little eye thing down there. Okay. You're going to go to layer, layer style, gradient overlay. And personally, this time I'm going to go with a yellow. Okay. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to go with a sort of a, I don't know, dark yellow. Okay. going to bring that down. Bring the opacity to about 95 and then go to pattern below gradient go here and I I've got a couple of rock patterns if you want to go to a site and download your own I don't care just search Photoshop whatever and go down here you can choose your own I'm gonna go with this, this little whatever it is it's sexy uh, as you can see, it just does that to it. Now, what you want to do is you're going to want to bevel and emboss. And go bring it down to pillow and boss. Actually, it doesn't matter whatever you want to do. Depth, we'll just kind of make it a little. Size, I'm bringing it a little bit, bit bigger. And I wouldn't soften it up exactly know what that does but I don't really care I'm not going to soften it make it about like that yeah okay close that bring it back to the normal background you're going to start off at YouTube up here just start about right there right at the little line if I can get it just bring it all the way over copy Pull that. Make sure it's over the other layer or it won't come out right. Okay, then just uh, take the background. Make sure it's probably up. You're going to want to do that. Layer style, outer glow. You're going to do white. You're going to make sure the uh, make sure it's on normal or opacity and opacity is on 100 or this will not work. Now, if you want to color it in, I don't care, but before you do outer glow, go to color overlay and make it white. Just make everything white. Okay, then go back to outer glow. You're going to want to bring spread out a lot. And bring it to where, as you can see, way up there. Bring it to where it's like touching the top of the little subscribe box thing. Just make sure it's touching that. Because it'll go all the way over. Okay, bring that down. Now, the easier way to do this is if you're making a banner all the way across like almost our eyes right now you're I'm not gonna do that I'm going to make it where it's round okay make if you want to do this make sure it's on rounded rectangle down here bring that out and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it all the way through here and make sure it's not touching the YouTube top or it'll go over it okay I'm right now it's black okay just layer style I'm gonna do uh, bevel and emboss. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do pillow emboss. Leave it like that. 
gradient over I'm not gonna do a gradient overlay this time. I'm gonna do a pattern overlay and I'm gonna make it a rockish looking I guess. I I'm also gonna do a color overlay and I'm gonna make this black and I'm again I'm gonna do the opacity thing bring it down about 93 90 something like that it doesn't matter do an inner or outer glow if you want I'm gonna do that this time I'm gonna make it white real sexy white yeah just kinda bring it all the way in here make it normal size I'm just gonna you know kinda bring it down like that choke it okay now once you do that, just kind of, you know, leave it like that. Be good. Now, go put it, make sure it's over the, every other layer, too. Okay, now, go back to the background. And this is where you don't want to mess up. Take the same thing, the, the little, uh, whatever you want to call it, rounded rectangle, and put it right over all of these little boxes. And it, it should just do that, or make it a little bit better it should just make it to where it's you know the same as the last one and that way you know be right over it except I'm gonna remove the inner glow on this one just make it sexier okay see kind of whoops I don't know if I'm gonna want to do that move this one up a little bit yeah okay now pull all those down, it doesn't matter. Okay. I, if you want to add the little text to the featured, you can do that yourself. That'll be fine. Just, you know, take the little text bar down here, make sure it's over background, and just, yeah, go from there. Okay. Now with text, what you're, wanna, what you're gonna want to do is just pick what kind of, you know, style you're gonna want to use, and just put a little bar around this what you just kind of on the star and if you don't think it's going to be the right size just go up here click it move it down 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 on the star 460 that's what now see it's still too big move it down 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 okay now see just kind of move it around still go to layer layer style and I'm going to do a little gradient overlay on this one I don't normally do that. Uh, go down here. Okay. And last, and probably the best part of this, is the background. Now, if you want to do what Chris did, you know, just kind of make it all the way across. I like to do mine like the originals. Just, you know, all the way across. Real sexy. Okay, just fill the, all this background in. And I got a lot of these brushes just all over the place, probably from Brush Easy, it's probably the most common place I've gotten these. And, you know, just make sure you have the right colors on. And just kind of, you know, fill this in. Just make it real awesome. I mean, some people, they'll do the bevel and emboss, make it rock designs on it, I don't really care. Uh, I think everything just looks real good like that. Just Taking little parts off of it. Uh, normally at the bottom of my backgrounds, I like to put a little something in there just that makes it different, like a little building or something. Just kind of make it, you know, give it a style or something. That's what you call it. on the bottom of the background or on the top of the background? The top of the background is a little different. That would be okay with almost anybody. But a bottom border is not exactly that easy. Because that will get cut off all the time. Okay, so this is the final product. This is what I've got. And I sure hope he likes it.